Hello, littering friend. Here is a common question I get asked. How do you organize your pens and supplies? Well, that's a huge question and it's changed so much over the years as I have simplified everything and I'm going to get into all of that. Let me show you all of my favorite pen cases to help you get organized in your hand lettering. And first, I have to give you some background info to show you how far I've come and why I'm where I am right now. I used to have three sets of pens. My lettering area was squished between my sewing machine and serger. Then I got an actual desk for lettering and I organized all of my pens in these individual open containers. This worked for a while with other pens overflowing all around my office. I have to add that. Then one day changed everything. We were evacuated because of a fire nearby and I literally dumped all of my pens into a bag and tried to take everything I could. I remember seeing the flames as I drove away from my home, thinking that I had just lost everything that wasn't in my car. It was a really scary experience. We did have a safe place to stay that night where we had a view of the fire getting closer to where we lived. And I still remember the feeling of waking up in the morning, hugging my little family, not knowing if we had lost everything, but realizing that these people were the only things that mattered to me. Everything else was just stuff. We were one of the lucky ones that got to go back home with no fire damage, but this sent me down a path towards minimalism and highly simplifying. I've learned that no amount of organizing or expensive storage bins will solve your problems if you have too much stuff for you. Organizing and staying organized gets easier when it is highly simplified. It's been a couple of years since the fire and I'm still changing the way I do things. So this is not like an overnight process. I've also moved a couple times since then and I'm not done moving because my husband just started medical school and joined the military. I share that background with you to explain that the most important thing to me in organizing my pens is portability and simplicity. That might not be for everybody, but that's what it is for me. So with that said, the first pen case that I have the most of is these clear plastic pouches. I found them on Amazon. They're the perfect size for each set of pens. And because they're clear, I can tell right away what pen is in each pouch. They're easy to bring with me when I just want a letter with a certain type of pen. I can travel with them and they squish to the size of pens in my drawers so I can fit more. They're actually a really great storage solution and a great travel solution. Win-win. If you like these, they're linked in my Amazon favorites in the description below, along with all of the other pen cases that I'm about to share with you. Number two, next are these larger clear pouches. Some of my pens didn't fit in the small ones, so I got these bigger ones as well. These ones aren't as useful for my smaller sets of pens though, because they're so much bigger, but I did need them for like my Tombos, for example. And I use one for some of my watercolor and that works really well. Number three is my personal favorite. These are stand-up pencil cases, sometimes called telescopic cases. I found most of these on Amazon and I just love them. They are the best invention ever. I used to have some jars on my desk to hold pens and I did use those a lot, but jars are not portable, right? <laughs> but these are, they're like a dual action jar and pencil case. I can easily bring these with me to the couch or to the bed when I'm lounging and lettering. They can sit up on the couch while I'm using them and then I just zip it up and throw them on the floor when I'm done for the night. I tried this pig one because I think it's so cute and there's all different kinds of animals. However, I don't love this one as much as the others. The top makes it easy to fall over and it's smaller so it doesn't hold as many pens, but it is perfect for my Stedler Tri Plus highlighters. Number four is this large plastic organizing box. This one seems great in theory, but it wasn't great for daily use because it was so bulky. I had all of my fine tip pens in here and I ended up not using them because I didn't want to pull out the whole thing just for one set of pens. It's also pretty big and doesn't fit in the drawers right next to my desk, but I recently added my washi tape to it because I've been collecting a bit too much washi tape. And now this is my container of washi tape and I can't buy any more until I use these up. 
because nothing else will fit. That's a little trick I learned from Dana of A Slob Comes Clean. She has a great YouTube channel. She talks about the container method where you're limiting yourself by the container. And that has really worked for me. Number five is this acrylic makeup organizer. I used to have this one on my desk and it stored the pens that I use most often. I really liked it for a while, but then I was trying to reduce what was on my desk. It felt really cluttered. And so I stopped using it. And then if you've seen my recent stationary haul, you saw with all the washi tape and stickers I got, I organized them in here. But once again, I didn't like having it on top of my desk. It just wasn't portable enough. And you know, that might not bother everyone, but it did for me. And I found this one at Marshall's, but I have seen similar ones on Amazon. I've linked it below if you like that idea. However, for me personally, I'm still unsure if this one will be used again someday. I love it too much to get rid of it right now, but we'll see. If you're wondering where I put my stickers since I moved them out of here, this is the system I have now. I had all these random pouches lying around and it's working really well because it's easier to move this around than the acrylic drawers. Number six, I recently tried these two new ones. I wanted something that was slightly bigger than my original clear plastic ones, but not as huge as my big ones. And they work great for that. I knew I needed them to be clear so I could see what's inside. And I wanted them to be flat for some pens that need to be stored horizontally instead of vertically, like my stand-up cases. So these are just more options similar to the other ones. Number seven are the other random cases that I have. So first, these plastic bins I got at the Dollar Tree so many years ago, and they still serve me really well. Totally random. They've stored lots of different things over the years. I also have this cute tin that holds some odds and ends that need to be right next to me when I litter. I also have a few different fabric cases that aren't clear. They wouldn't be good for all of my pens since I've learned that it needs to be clear for me to use them easier, but they work for just a few random pens. I also have this pen case that has elastics for each of the pens. Now this works great for this set that it came in, but I tried getting a big generic one to store more of my pens and it didn't work at all. I didn't like putting all my pens in the elastics every time and I could never find just the right number of pens for the case. But like I said at the beginning, we're all different. So I hope this helped you know which ones will work for your style, gave you some good ideas of what you might wanna try. And when you see someone who has the giant room storage that holds every crafting supply, that might be a really great fit for someone else. It just wouldn't work for me because like I said, my main goal is portability and simplicity. I have really found my creativity improve when it's a lot more simple. And I've just learned that that's what works for my style. It might not work for you. You get to discover your own style for yourself. I would love to hear in the comments any experiences that you've had with organizing have you tried simplifying? Does that work for you? Does it not work for you? I'm always so curious to hear about this. Now that you've seen all of my pen cases, if you want to see all of my pens, all of that inventory, you can check out this playlist right here. This is the final part of all of those inventory videos. So now you can watch them through from part one to part seven. Thank you so much for joining me on these inventory videos. I've had so much fun.